What's up, guys? We're back in Hermitcraft. It's been a little bit since we've been doing Hermitcraft things. Uh, that's pretty cool. Pixelmed's working on some stuff over there. Um, so, a couple things. Uh, we're on the latest pre-release, which I would be happy about, but I'm having an issue with my enchanted tools. Like, if you notice, they're enchanted, but it's not really registering. Well, my shovel's registering. But for some reason, my pick isn't registering that it's enchanted. You see that? Like, it's like, even though it's got efficiency, it's the game's like not registering it, and it's like, unless they changed it so that efficiency doesn't affect, like, you know, uh, grass anymore. Anyways, also, I just want to say, I like this little tooltip thing. Here's why. Because look, when I take out my boat, it says Alfred. When I take out my sword, it says Corrales Basher. Sick. <laughs> Anyways, um, so, I'm, I'm, I've been, I've been at a loss for ideas for Hermitcraft for quite a while. I don't really know what to do. Like, I love uh, Hermitcraft and playing on the server, and I'm passionate about making some cool stuff. I'm just not sure what to do right now. And also, because it's the pre-release, I have yet to fix the um, the glass and the add the um, and Venom screen grass texture pack fix thing. So I will do that, but I, I just have yet to do it. So, anyways, peoples, hello, everybody, I hope you're doing okay. Um, I hope you're enjoying, like, the Feed the Beast and stuff, but I, I figure that a lot of people are, like, they like both, so I'm not going to deprive you of Hermitcraft as well. I figure today, um, my one of my, my main gripes with this tower is there's not a really a good way to get up here. Um... So, I need to figure out a way. I was thinking a minecart system, but I want to know what you guys think first. I could do, like, a little pathway, like, a little steps. Uh, like, you know, something that's really, like, windy and takes a while to go up. I think it'd be cool. How, like, if I did, if I did a minecart system, right? I could have a minecart system that goes from, like, inside my, my house. It goes, like, up there. goes to the melon, mad, the mystical melon. And then, like, you can press a button if you want to continue or just get off there. I'm not that good with all the redstone and stuff. I have to actually check on the melon. I don't know if it's, if it's still... Oh, it's still here. Good. I just... I wasn't sure if it was still, you know, safe. Safe and sound. I wanted to make sure. Um, but... <clears throat> I have yet to finish up the sheep farm. And it's funny, somebody commented last video and said... Um, Matt, if you're, if you're trying to farm dyes, why are you making a sheep farm? And then... Like, during the video, I just had myself convinced that making a sheep farm was what I was supposed to be doing. And then as soon as somebody said that, I was like, hold the phone. This guy's completely right. Why the hell am I making a sheep farm? Because it's not going to help me collect dyes at all. Um, but at the end, it doesn't matter because I needed one anyways. So, and this is an area I wasn't using, so not a big deal. Also, that was stupid of me to just... I've got to now get... I've got to get some grass blocks. Do I have silk touch on this? No. Um, so, and then also another thing that was said was the pumpkins. See, this is the problem. Like, my enchantments aren't registering. I, I think they changed it. Like, because look, my efficiency is not registering on things like pumpkins anymore. I don't know how they changed the code or, or what the deal is with that. But you can see, like, it kind of registers. Like, it pops off after. I don't know what's up with that. Anyways. I got to keep one square in the middle there. Uh, for a grass block on these. I don't know what would break it faster. I'm not I'm really not sure. Um, so, while I work on this, we can talk about a couple things. There's a couple things on my on my mind that I haven't uh, really talked to you guys about. And uh, normally I don't like to get all serious. It's not going to be serious. Nothing nothing real serious about this. Um, <clears throat> two things. I, I've been meaning to talk about and I haven't. Uh, the first one is the king of the web. Um, I won second place. I think it's amazing of you guys for helping me win second place. So that's $1,500. So I'm going to take uh, the money and buy you guys games just like I said I was going to. But obviously with $5,000 it would have been a, you know an insane giveaway and I was going to do it like kind of all at once. So instead I decided it would be better if we did um, like a weekly thing. So like every Friday 
uh, I gave away a game, and then the, then it'll kind of like last longer. Uh, but you guys can like, you know, I, I like to hear your input. So if you're like, ah, nah, just do just do it all at once, bro. You know, then whatever. Um, but the way I see this as a better method is because if I do it like every Friday, I can kind of go through the comments and then when somebody, when I see a winner that I'm going to pick or like when I randomly, like I'll use a random um, number generator or, or some kind of way to randomize it or even just randomly pick a page, uh, you know, and, and do it that way. When I pick the comment uh, that wins, I can look at what they said. And if they said like, oh yeah, um, I want to win, I really want Far Cry 3, or I really want, you know, insert game title here, then um, they can get the game they want. So that's kind of why I see a benefit to doing it that way, uh, because I want people to be happy with, you know, because you don't want to find out, oh hey, you want a free game, and it's like, but hold on a second, I already have... Far Cry 3 or, you know, whatever, whatever game was that week. So I think it's better if we do it in a, in a system that I can give away games to the people who, you know, want whatever game. Also, I haven't got the money from them yet. I have no idea. They haven't, like, I've signed the paperwork that they sent me. Um, I'm not, like, I'm not hating on them at all. I don't, I'm not in a rush. I just want you guys to know that I'm not, like, you know, like, oh, yeah, I've got all this money, time to go shopping. No, like, I just haven't got it yet at all. So, I'm literally waiting on, on them to send it to me, and then I can start buying the games. Um, so, yeah, I figure it'll be really cool. We can do weekly giveaways. Um, like I said, if you guys would rather just, you know, like, we don't care about weekly. We just want it all at once, whatever. But I think it'd be way more beneficial to do, a, like, a weekly thing where... You, you know, everyone can get the games that they're choosing. So that's the first thing. So just wanted to say, A, uh, number one, a huge thank you to King of the Web. And people, are, another question people were asking me over and over was, are you going to do it again? You know, are you going to try to win again? Because, you know, people said like, oh, well, this second time around, you might have a better chance. I, You know, in the first, I didn't really want to do it that much in the first place. Because for me, it just feels um, like it's it's great. You know, it's it's really cool, and it's and it's a great way to 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 get the support and rally up your subs to to do something for for you and for them. And then also a lot of people do it for charity and stuff. But um, I think there are uh, a lot of there there are a lot of other ways you can do like charitable stuff. Um, and, and for me, I I just I, in the first place I was kind of like ah, don't don't really want to do King of the Web, and then. The guy who ran it, or, or one of the guys from them, just, you know, he was very persistent in, like, emailing me and letting me, like, know about it and asking me. And I just said, there's no harm in running once, and, you know, I can do something for my subs. I can give back to my subs. Um, you know, but, but I don't want to, I don't really, it's not that I feel wrong about doing it. I just, I don't, I don't think it's, it's not really for me. I, I hate asking you guys to do stuff and and you know like uh, i i just like you guys to be able to just watch and that's kind of all i want to do is entertain you guys and and give you give you something to watch the the second thing i was i was going to talk about was and i think generic b did a big video on this and, and covered a lot of points and a lot of um detail and information uh we gotta have to go back home to get some more uh um to get some, for one, some trapdoors, and for two, I need to get, because I don't think sheep will actually use the trapdoors, and I need to get some, uh, I like, I like those 3D items, so cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm digressing, I, and I need to get some grass. Also, this is a very talky episode, but I really wanted to get these points covered, and, um, I hope you guys are okay with that, because once in a while, we gotta discuss stuff, we gotta talk about stuff. Uh, okay, then, the next, the next point... This is something I didn't really want to talk about either for, for a long time and still don't, I, I don't really want to, you know, force you guys to do anything or um, tell you what to do. Uh, but the next thing, like I said, GB did a big video, was ad block on, um, on videos. And I myself used to use ad block all the time, actually. I, I used ad block for, you know, it's, it, it was great. It was like, hey, no ads perfect um what more could you ask for 
but recently, as I started following some of my favorite YouTubers, and um, people have asked me a million times who, who those YouTubers are, and, and actually, a lot of my favorite, like, I don't have a lot of time to watch, like, big, long LP videos, because I'm, well, I'm making them for you guys. Um, so instead of watching them, I'm I'm doing them, you know, which is amazing because I, I, I first just started watching them. And, and then now that you guys rely on me to make them and you want me to make them, it's, it's amazing. But long story short, um, yeah, I used to use Adblock too all the time. I thought it was the best thing, you know, since sliced bread. I was like, oh, Adblock, this is great, the best. Um, one sec, sip of coffee, hold on. Oh, this morning I have... Um, I have I have eggnog, <laughs> I have spiced eggnog. It's so good, and it's a holiday only kind of thing. You can only get um, spiced eggnog around the holidays, I think. And then they also have um, <clears throat> you can get around Halloween time. You can get or around the fall. You can get uh, pumpkin spice, which is also delicious. Sorry, I digress again. I can't, I can't keep my mind off coffee. It's a problem. Anyways, so okay, so but anyways, yeah. With Eva, I used to use it myself. I used to think it was the best thing since sliced bread, and I think the guy making it, um, he he does kind of like you know he's he's not really against the, the ads and stuff. He he just was making something and people donate to him and he he made a product that, um, you know pe people would 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 donate and you know he he made something no big deal, but for me, um. After I started watching all of my favorite YouTubers uh, to support them, I actually I actually stopped using it. Um, and you didn't even have to stop using it for all websites. If you wanted to support YouTubers, you could just remove it for YouTube, or you could maybe even remove it for just like a certain YouTube channel, and then only watch via that channel link. But if I think if you're on the video page, it's not gonna it wouldn't register. But if you do use it, um, just know that. Uh, it like the ads help support me, and and I don't mean support me in a way like of buying luxury items. They literally uh, support me in a way that I can pay for my rent to to <laughs> live in my house and uh, for food so that I don't die and I eat. <laughs> because uh, a lot of people don't know, but between f I mean, and for the moment, and it might not be forever, but the the thing the way that I look at it is, if if it's for now and it works, then. I'm living in the now, you know, um, but uh, and I need I need to get what I came here for and stop messing around. Uh, grass, and then I needed to make some some uh, dingle dingle doos <laughs> to make some trapdoors. Uh, so yeah, I I rely I rely on it to uh, to eat food and and to to pay pay for rent, but not not of that alone. I also make music, which was my full time job before YouTube, um, which a lot of people don't know. Um, it was just strictly music making. Um, and so between YouTube and music together, music has definitely slowed down since YouTube, but it's because, well, I enjoy doing both, you know, I, and, and you guys are, are like a daily thing that I'm doing every day, uh, which is, don't get me wrong. I love it. I seriously love it. I love reading the comments after I make a video seeing you know, that you guys are enjoying like. It, it means a lot, and, and I want to work on some special projects, and this is another reason why I agreed to do King of the Web, to be able to give back to you guys. It all just, you know, it just, I want to be able to do that. Anyways, long long story short, um, if if you do use it, uh, that's fine. I would never be mad at anyone for doing it, because like I said, I used to do it, but just know that when you when you don't use it, and, and you know, you, you're like, oh, I hate those YouTube ads. They, they just, I mean, maybe... I don't know. They they help they help, you know, put food on the table, I guess. <laughs> but um yeah, that's all. That's it, that's all. Those are the those are the main settings that I or the main uh um main things I wanted to to get off my chest to, to talk about. So um <clears throat> yeah. Sorry for the rant and the the talkie episode, but I thought it was kind of it was necessary because one thing I figured, you know, people are going to be like, "Oh, well, now that you've won King of the Web and you have all this money, um you know, what are you doing, right? And I didn't want people to be like, "Are you, you going out shopping or something?" No, it's not like that at all. I I don't have the don't have the money yet, but I, when I get it, I will I will buy the games, as the team would say. And uh, speaking of which, just before this, I was watching his live stream, and uh, I love Thane. He's a good buddy, not a buddy, but he's a, he's a good person. I don't know him real well. I wish I did. Hey, buddy. 
Corrales Basher. Every time I take it out, I just I just see it in all caps. I'm just like, yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. So I know those those things are there. We're getting on a serious level. I tried to still um, have fun with the seriousness because you know me. I'm not I'm not super serious. I like to just joke around with you guys and have a good time. Uh, so. Um, unfortunately, that's, like, taking up all of our time. I didn't mean to do that, but I, I really wanted to discuss those points, and they're very important to me to, to get across to you guys and help you kind of get a little bit better insight into, um, <clears throat> my life and, and what I do and why I do it. Um, all right. So, before I go, though, I will slap on some of these trapdoors. I'm pretty sure, right, that you don't even need to put them up, that you can just use them like this, and the sheep can't get out. I could be wrong. You can also put it on the top. I love that they added that. Like, it's such a simple little stupid thing that you just you know. But for me, I think it's so cool that they added them on the top. What? The, yeah, I don't like this whole I don't know if this is new. You guys will have to tell me if this is in the change log or whatever. If they change the way enchantments react with blocks. But this is ridiculous the way it's, the way it's acting right now. I do not like it one bit. Um, but I mean, whatever. Like, I'm not gonna, not gonna get all butthurt about it. I'm gonna put all these trapdoors in the corners, and then we will, we will go. It's a sad, sad time. At the end of every video, when you guys have to go. <laughs> um, I, you know, it's funny. I was, uh, and I'll actually say this out, out, um, out loud to you guys. Uh, I was, I was playing WoW the other day, and one of my subs out of me, and he just, and, um. Just via WoW, he just said, hey, man, like, uh, thanks for all the videos and stuff that you do. And uh, really, like, I really enjoy them, you know, um, watching them while I'm doing, grinding out dailies and stuff. And just little things like that. Just little things like that mean a lot to me. So um, don't think your appreciation goes unnoticed, guys. I read all the comments. Like, obviously not every comment, as I've stated before, it's impossible. But I go through the comments after every day. I like just I go to the all comments. I start skimming through them, and um, I I love seeing I love seeing all your comments and your suggestions are the best. I've taken so many ideas from people. Um, and again, I want to like I said to start making sure I credit people. I think I did like for the igloo thing for feed the beast. Made sure I credited that guy, who's uh, another buddy who plays well. Oh, and the last thing I was gonna say before I go was if you do play wow and you have a battle net. And you want to add me on Battle.net? Because we could, if we have any characters around the same level, we could play together. I just recently, like, started up again, and I'm really enjoying it. And, yeah, bash it all you want. But if you play, you play, right? And you you can add me, and we can play together. Um, my ID, I don't know offhand, but it's top mass, and then a hashtag, and then four numbers. It will be in the descriptiones of this video. My hashtag, or my Battle.net ID to add me will be in the description. So, yes. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll add anyone, uh, really. Um, obviously, like, if I'm in, like, BGs and stuff, you know, like, don't, don't get all mad at me if I don't hit you back right away, but I'm, I'm, I'll add everyone. And, uh, yeah. Also, uh, another thing. Look at what, look at what this, look at this. You've been a good boy all year, Santa Jenny. Generic B, I guess. And he give me a diamond just called Nice. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I've got mixed feelings about this situation because Generic B is supposed to be on the hunt to kill me, and quite frankly, I'm excited for him to his attempt, and I want him to try, and I can't wait. So, come here, sheep's. Come here, please. I I can't wait for Jenny B to come and try me. So your nice tactics, albeit very nice, GB, are not gonna work on me, you slick Rick. They are not going to work on this seasoned, seasoned player, uh, as I, I will say. Because, as you know, I'm a pro PvP master. I've got, technically, I went to karate when I was, when I was six years old. I did karate for like four months. I, I kid you not. Um, and I didn't get it. I had the, I still, I didn't have any belts. I don't even think I got the white belt. I don't know if you get that for free, but I wasn't very good. But I'll have you know that those skills did not go, uh, 
you know, we're not are not going to be put to negative use. Those skills are in my system. Come on, come with me. Let's go. We have things to do. Anyways, guys, um, I'm going to end this here while I pull my sheep over to their little breathing center. Um, I, I'm sorry for the rant if, you, if you're one of those people who likes when I cut up the videos and get lots of stuff done. And, but as you guys know, and, and this is just me, and it's not because I don't like uh, care. It's just I like to... A lot of people do like these, these, they only do like an episode a week of certain LPs, right? And so they get a ton of stuff done and like, you know, their videos are all cut up and they fast forward and they've built the empire of Minecraft goodness and here I am just like working on the same thing for two or three episodes. I like having you guys along for the whole journey. Come with me, please, right now. Come on, let's go. Don't be a dink. Um, I like having you guys along for like the whole journey and um, I don't know, it's just me. That's just, not, that's just how I do things. Oh, look at you. What are you doing? See, he can't get out at least. Come on. Come to this. Yeah. Uh. Stuck. All right. We got two. So, whatever. We'll get more later. At least one of the cells now will start breeding. So, guys, anyways, that's long story short. That's going to be the end of the video today. I really appreciate um, all your comments and questions. Please leave them the below and what your thoughts are. Um, on all this. I will, I'm going to read them. I can't wait to go through them. Uh, again, my Battle.net ID will be in the description. Um, check that out. Please, uh, thumbs up also helps, really helps me. If you like, like or favor, I, I hate asking for that kind of stuff, but if you, if you look, you know, thumbs it up even, I, I really appreciate it. But other than that, folks, I want you to have a fantastical day and, uh, drink your coffee. Unless you're really young, then don't drink coffee. It's really good, and you'll get addicted, and, and it's going to suck. So it's kind of like a, um, I'm telling you about coffee, but I'm also saying, like, you're welcome, and I'm sorry. Because <laughs> it's really good. But, uh, yeah, if you're if you're young, don't drink. It's bad for your health, I think. I don't know. It's good for my health. I love it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, guys. That's the end of that. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.